Good morning, super cool party people. Despite my best efforts, I didn't fall asleep until after 3 a.m. last night. This this is just stupid, and I and I hate it. So I definitely slept in until about 11, which was pretty much just a normal night of sleep for normal people who can get to sleep on time. It is Friday, which means it's one of those days that I typically have problems getting enough content for the vlog because in the past my brother was always off on Fridays and we have Dungeons and Dragons. Really hair? Come on, just stay back there. But I've been really bad at just getting enough content for vlogs on the daily lately. I don't know what happened. I'm, I'm gonna blame going back to work because I'm kind of off of my regular schedule and so going to work is just throwing that off and I keep forgetting to vlog. So I'm gonna try to get enough to have longer than a 3 minute and 50 second vlog today. So here's hoping for that. I'd say right now it's time to eat breakfast and it kinda is but it's actually time to eat lunch. So I'm gonna go cook myself something to eat and then get ready for the day. I just finished eating breakfast slash lunch. Brunch, we'll go with brunch, even though it was definitely lunch food and it was definitely after 12, but that's fine. And typically at this point, I would just climb back in bed and be on YouTube or trying to be productive for until Dungeons and Dragons start. But I'm trying to be more active. And so even though it's raining, I have kitted up in some active wear and I'm gonna go outside for a walk because I'm trying to be more active. <laughs> All right, I am back on the trail, which is conveniently not covered with ice because of all the snow, so that's great. It is raining less than I thought it would as I just got a drop of rain in my eye, but that's fine. Oh, I found ice. Anyway, it's so much better than it was before. I'm actually in my runners instead of my hiking boots, which maybe was a terrible idea, but we're doing it anyways. We are walking and it's a little colder than I was expecting. I should have had one more layer on, that's fine. We'll just walk faster, it'll be fine. It's actually a lot icier on the main path than I thought initially, so in an effort to combat that I'm gonna walk on the forest paths, but I have to cross that first. Ooh. Okay, not so bad, not so bad, not so bad. We'll just walk a little faster. The nice thing is, is I'm pretty sure-footed and it's very rare that I fall because of ice. It does happen occasionally, but it's very rare. And I feel like knock on wood because I'm about to just eat it here. The two best pieces of advice I have for walking on ice are one, always keep your hands free and out. So I'm not walking on ice right now, that's why I'm vlogging. And two, firm steps directly down. Cause then you have less of a chance of sliding. The problem is this ice is all that bumpy stuff. So you cannot step on it without sliding a little bit. But so far so good. I have not died yet. It's also not as cold as I thought it was when I first got out here, but that could just be because I'm walking around still. I cannot wait until Florida. I cannot wait until sunshine, and I swear to God, if it rains while I'm there, it'll be so sad. So Florida, I'm coming for you. Have nice weather. I feel like I'm getting no exercise benefits from this because I'm just trying not to die. And now we're just skating. This is stupid. Why? Also, bridge. I like coming across bridges in nature for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's nice and I think it's usually because I go over like a stream. It's always so pretty, especially in the winter. Sorry, trying not to die while I'm walking and talking, which is a struggle. Yeah, ha. So when I went for a walk the other day, I came to a street and I knew somewhere the trail continued on the other side of the street, but I couldn't find it. Today I found it. So I'm in a new part of the trail, which is slightly less icy because there's no spent. So this is nice. It's also very pretty. Very pretty, but I'm starting to get very cold. So I don't think we go too, too far and then I'll turn back and I will go home and I will jump in the shower to warm up, which will be nice, but it's good to know this part of the trail exists.
Well, I found myself in a predicament. I'm on a hill and I can't go any further up. It's too steep and it's too icy. And I'm already about halfway up. And I'm afraid that the second I move my feet, I'm just gonna fall. So, here's hoping. I'm gonna put the camera down to give me the best chance. But I am concerned for my ability to stay up right now. Ah, I win. <laughs> and then I almost went down there. Cocky, cocky me. It's funny too, because I just sent my friend in Florida a picture of the ice that I was walking on, and he told me to be careful, and I said, please, I'm Canadian, I'm born of ice and snow, but that hill. But I think that's fine because it's pretty cold out here, so I know where this trail is now, and I'm going to turn around, well, I've already turned around, I'm going to head back home and go get nice and cozy and warm, and maybe have a hot chocolate from Timmy's, because I have Timmy's hot chocolate at the house, because why wouldn't you? All right, I will touch base with you once I get back to the other part of the trail. Burb. Two burbs. Bye burbs. I was doing pretty good there for a while, walking without almost dying from the ice. Like I, I actually got up to a decent pace. And then I saw some birds and I almost fell. Got distracted by the birds, almost died, but that's fine. While we're out here walking, I figured I'd talk a little bit more about YouTube, or maybe more so about my equipment. I've been rocking my camera without my tripod for the last couple days, trying to get used to it. It's a little bit easier, it's a little bit more compact, but there's so many shots I would like to get while I'm walking right now that I can't because I don't have a tripod. So I think what I need to do is invest in one of those gorilla tripods so I can like attach it to trees and crap because everything's wet right now. So it would make it better. I'm having trouble finding places to just ditch my camera and walk away, but we'll get there. But yeah, I'm just about back at the road. Then I'm gonna go home and it will be lovely to be nice and warm. So I'll catch you from in my house. And I'm home. Wow, that last part of the walk outside of the forest was so cold. I am freezing to death right now. So, I think I'm gonna double check that the dishwasher is finished running because I forgot I started it before I left. And if it is, I'm jumping in the shower. Otherwise, I'm gonna climb under my blanket. So cold. And try to get warm here until I can jump in the shower. The dishwasher is still going, which is fine because I'm under my blankets and I'm warming up. I mean, granted the house, even if it was freezing cold in here, would be warmer than outside because it is so cold outside. But I figured I would take this opportunity to talk about something I've been thinking about doing on my channel for a while. What like probably nobody knows is that I actually started this vlog channel in 2009 and I actually started vlogging on a pretty consistent basis. I think it's from like a webcam, like that's how long ago it was. And then I bought a camcorder and I upgraded to that. I've since privated those videos because they're from so long ago and I haven't looked at them in, in ages. I can't even tell you what they're about. But I was thinking it would be fun to do like a reacting to my own videos series. So I think I'm gonna start that soon here. I guess I, I basically just need to find a good setup where I can sit and watch the videos and then figure out how to do that reaction format. I've watched a couple videos on it, so I think I understand the principles of it, so it should be okay. And somewhere also in the cloud, I have a bunch of footage from when I used to go out adventuring around Vancouver in the woods and going for hikes and all that stuff because I'm super awkward about vlogging in public and if I can find them on the cloud and pull them off the cloud and then edit them, I figured I could add that into the series. It could be like a throwback Thursday or something. So I'm gonna look into doing that soon. And then that way I would have my Sunday dark sun stuff and then throwback Thursday, which I think would be just so funny to watch my old vlogs. Cause I thought like I was good at vlogging then. And I don't think I'm good at vlogging now, but I also don't think I was good at vlogging then. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about working on that here soon. First things first, warm up my legs because they are freezing. I was curled up under my blankets and contemplating jumping in the shower, then my friend Abby called, so I got to put it off for like a solid 30 minutes, which was great. That's actually another goal of this year. Abby and I have known each other for almost eight years now and we've never met in person. So we want to make it so that we meet this year. So that's another goal to add to the list. I need to like post this on the wall somewhere. But then I did eventually get in the shower and I took the longest and hottest shower I could stand and it was so great and I feel so refreshed. 
Right now I've got about half an hour before people start showing up for D&D, so I'm just gonna have a quick snack before everybody gets here. And then I got a little bit of food prep to do, and then it's off to Athis, where I hope my character doesn't die tonight. So it was only like five hours late, but I did make my bed. So yay, sticking to that goal at least today. It was hard though, I had to find my sheet. It was well over here in the room, which is super weird, but that's what happens when I sleep. I just destroy everything. And now I'm actually gonna go get on that food prep that I'm supposed to be doing and probably clean up the table so we can play on it and all, all that fun stuff. All right, it's 11.30 at night now, D&D is over. It was a super good session. Nobody died, which is also a good thing, but it was just generally a fun session, which, which was nice, because last week I felt that it went like a little bit too long. But now it's time to finish up the vlog, do my editing, and then lay in bed for several hours as I try to get to sleep. Or maybe go to sleep right away. That's what I'm hoping for. But if the last couple of nights are any indication, I will be up for a stupid amount of time but we're hoping. And I'm gonna try to get up early and go for a walk before anything happens. I'm trying to be active. So with that, I'm gonna end the vlog. Thanks for putting up with me today and I'll see you tomorrow for another daily vlog. Good night.